And it's that time of the morning where we are getting hungry, although we've been hungry for right. hours now. <laughs> no, we sure have. Marty's at a spot where people are getting breakfast ready, but not for people. Yes, let's send him out to explain. Hello, Marty. Well, hello, Cena. Hello, Meg. And good morning, everyone. How are you? Let me just first introduce Kirby Power, President and CEO of the Maryland Zoo at Baltimore. Um, this is Shelby Owens, who runs the commissary here. We're basically in the kitchen of the zoo. And this is Jenny. Uh, you're in charge, basically, of the animal public outreach. When you see the ravens again after the avian flu is over with, she's in charge of all of those programs. We're going to talk to Kirby next half hour about the dollars and cents it takes to feed the animals at the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore. Coming up after the break, we're going to talk to you two basically about the commissary. But right now, I just want to throw a shout out to the National Aquarium in Baltimore. We were at their kitchen, which prompted us to come to the kitchen here at the zoo. As far as most interesting places, it was a toss up where to come. We are at the zoo because it's just so much more complicated to feed animals that if you have COVID and breathe on their food, they can get COVID. Which animals can get COVID? Um, so that would be our felines, our muscolid, like our otters, and then also our primates. It's, look, it's not like it's easy to feed all the fish and the mammals at the National Aquarium, but we had to make a choice. So we defaulted over to here. If we do an encore week, we're going back to the kitchen at the National Aquarium. But coming up after the break, we're going to talk to your staff. It's in charge of feeding how many animals? 15. 1,500 a day. 250 species. Yep. Unbelievable. And wait till you hear what happened at the zoo last weekend. A lot of folks didn't have heat. A lot of animals didn't have heat. Wow. We'll explain it all. K2 and I are coming back right after the break. Okay, we'll be ready for it. Thank you, Marty. Mm -hmm. And coming up next on WJZ at 9, it's a belated holiday.